Hi YouTube, it's Chatty Kathy. I'm back again. Earlier I told you on the last video that I didn't have very many plans for the day. And well, I didn't, but the day got busy and so I'm on here a little bit later than expected. I had planned on being on a lot earlier to do this segment on fire starting. But, you know, unexpected things happen. So, I apologize for that. I also made um, several other videos before that I haven't posted yet. And I plan on getting those up tonight. That's the plans. So, we'll start with this. The most simple way to make fire with lighters. Lighters are easy. Quick and easy. And you don't want to just throw these in your bag. I guess you can if you wanted to, but I don't know if it gets pushed up against something this little thing pushes and then it releases everything out of there. And then it's no good. It's not good for any, except for the striker. That's always good. Usually if it don't get wet. Another thing that I have are these Altoids cans. They're great because they freshen your breath. And I put cotton balls in there because you can remember I told you you could put cotton balls in Vaseline and they light there. You can also use these cans to put your lighters in and store them away so that doesn't happen to them. And you don't you lose all the fuel out of them. So lighters, that's one way to do it. And the cotton balls, remember I told you about the cotton balls? Mm, I'm all over the place, sorry. So we have these things, matches, and they're in these little containers, waterproof containers. They have this little seal around here, so when you close it, you know, water don't get in there. And the striker is right here on the side, on these big ones. You can get these at Academy. Can we? Yeah. And then I have all of these other ones. These are also waterproof, full of matches. That's another way you can start a fire. Lighters, matches, and then we have fire starters. I forgot my glasses. Okay. Well, we have these fire starters you can get from Academy. And they have this little bungee cord thing on here it's not really a bungee cord but it's got a cord on here so you don't lose it when you pull it apart they don't fall apart because you need both sides to strike it I'm not gonna strike it because I'm in the house and I don't think that's very safe but we have these and you just strike this across here and it makes a spark so once you get your spark once you get your spark then you need something to be able to hold that fire from the spark with cotton balls, like I was telling you. I douse these cotton balls in Vaseline and I put them in a Ziploc bag, squeeze all the air out, and I keep these. Doesn't take up much space. And when you light them, they're good for about hmm, five minutes, I think. But either way, they burn long enough for you to get some timber going or the wood going or timber going so then you can get the wood going and then we have the oh i forget i always forget mm. well you know what these are i don't know why i'm so forgetful paracords yeah the paracords so the paracords are good because you can cut the ends off and pull the strings out and when you get a spark on it, it'll light up. And when you shred it like that, like split it apart, then it has like a bigger flame. You can use that to get your wood started also. So you can have a big fire. All these little things is gonna be good to help you to get a big fire going. Keep you warm at night when it's freezing cold to cook on, to boil your water on, all that good stuff. So we're talking about things, we already talked about the things 
to get the fire started. Now we're talking about things to uh, help make it a little bit bigger. So you can have a big fire. I think I already said that. Anyway, so we have these. Tinder. Yeah, all these little things are considered tinder. So the paracord is one. Cotton balls is another. Another are pencils. You can have pencils because pencils are made out of wood. Make sure you get the wood pencils. You can get these little sharpeners. They're a dollar. You can get a bunch of pencils for practically nothing. I think $2 for what, 20 pencils or something? And these are like a dollar. Sometimes you can get them on sale for 50 cents. And you can sharpen your pencils in here. Yeah, let me find it. You can sharpen your pencils and have this thing already filled up with that stuff. So these are good. The sharpeners, the pencils, um, that's good tinder. If it comes down to it and you don't have either one of those, then you've got your bandana. You can use your banana. That'll light. That'll make a bigger fire. And inside here, we have lint. Like when you do your laundry. When I do my laundry and I put all that lint in the back, then after it gets filled up, then I take it all out. Make sure and take your uh, dryer sheets out. I guess I don't put my dryer sheets in there. I guess you could if you wanted to. But I just use the lint. Most of this lint is made out of cotton or whatever. But it's flammable. And you only need a little bit. And it'll do a good flame. We have candles. These are cheap at the dollar store. Or the 99 cent store. Candles are cheap. That's a good fire. You can even put the candles... And cook with the candles too. A fire will, that'll go a long time. And then we have the fire starter, Dura Flame fire starters. These were 58 cents. They were mismarked at Walmart for 58 cents each. So I bought every single one of them. I have about 50 of these, and I have them dispersed in all of my bags. So that's good. Then we have these little stoves. And when you get these little stoves, they come with two packets of these little fuel blocks. So you just get one or two, however many you want. Put the fuel blocks on here, on the top of here. See that? Put the fuel box on the top of there. <clears throat> yeah, you don't can't do all four of them. And that'll burn for quite some time, long enough for you to boil water in your nifty little pot that I showed you before. You can use that. You have these little fuel blocks. If you run out of these fuel blocks, then you have plenty of these. You get them on sale for 58 cents. Actually, they weren't on sale. That's right. They were mismarked. And this will slide right under here. See that? And then you got a good long fire. You can make soup, all kinds of stuff. You can cook whatever you want. That's pretty cool, huh? Anyway. It's a short video. It's not a whole lot to it. It's another pot. Well, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But... That's just a starter. That's a lot of good stuff to have. You're going to need all of these things. Everything's lightweight. Everything's very affordable. Your lint, your cotton balls, Vaseline. It's a little pricey. Well, it's a little pricey, I guess. Not much if you buy it in bulk, like the big ones. Guess that's about it. So, if you have any other ways... And any other tips on fire starting or keeping a fire going longer or, you know, whatever, then you can put something in the comments and let me know. And 
please, if you like the video, hit the like button, comment, um, share if you like to share, if you want your friends to watch too, and subscribe if you would please. Appreciate it. I guess that's about it. Cheers to you and see you later, alligators.